I don't want to conflate blockchain with crypto because, you know, in some ways I've always thought of blockchain as something that could, you know, transform supply chain management, mm -hmm. et cetera. Crypto is that one that feels more risky, you know, no central bank. Are they, how much, I mean, you seem to be intertwining them to some extent. Um, is that what companies are doing now in terms of their approach? So I think of blockchain as um, a neutral ledger technology. Yeah, distributed. And, yeah, uh, you can build cryptocurrency with blockchain. You can build NFTs with blockchain. Mm -hmm. Um, you can create a version of the internet without centralized servers powered by distributed networks of computers using blockchain. Um, the, so when, if, if I say blockchain, I'm usually talking about all of that. Right. Um, and our, our, our annual list that reviews these, uh, these projects are application neutral. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at cryptocurrency. Even Bitcoiners hate that we call Bitcoin cryptocurrency. They say we're not a cryptocurrency. Bitcoin is different than all these others. What do they call it? Bitcoin is Bitcoin. <laughs> Crypto is everything else. Hubris is so hubris. So it's yeah. right. <laughs> there's there's a lot of um, linguistic games to try and create distinctions, um, but for me, like blockchain is a base layer behind the scenes application neutral infrastructure that you can do all of these different things on top of. So you talked about some structural issues that were fixed with Mt. Gox. Like Theranos, you know, the whole FTX situation seems to be in some ways potentially, allegedly classic fraud. And and so does that really, it, it doesn't, you know, a Ponzi scheme is a Ponzi scheme. Fraud is fraud. Of course, we don't, he'll have his day in court. But is it really reflecting on the sort of fundamental technologies in the minds of people? Or are people identifying this as that's fraud and that's creating an opportunity because the fear factor is, you know, essentially taking these assets and grossly undervaluing them. Like, how, how many people are out there buying distressed assets? Is it the same characters that leapt at Mt. Gox? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, the the asset class as the, the asset class isn't going away based on the investors that I'm talking to. Uh, we've seen um, a, a lot of investors that actually did in fact get rich off of the Mt. Gox collapse. Uh, they bought promises um, to be made whole uh, from people whose money was trapped on Mt. Gox when it collapsed at a massive discount. It's almost like buying bonds at a discount. When it you, is, yeah. yeah. And when 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 um, Mt. Gox collapsed, Bitcoin was, I'm just making this up, we'll say $600. Right. Um, with the appreciation of Bitcoin, even though what was left over was a tiny fraction of uh, th what was lost, all of the Mt. Gox uh, losers, so to speak, ended up being made whole, or, or I believe will eventually end up being made whole. Um, the same, same wish is happening right now. The, a lot of the investors that uh, got rich off the Mt. Gox demise are shopping for distressed assets. Um, what about the blowback with uh, you know government now paying closer attention to this? Let's look out to next year. What do you predict? It's going to happen. Uh, I predict. I, what are you seeing? We're not <laughs> soothsayers here. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not a predictor. I've uh, been around too long to make predictions about the industry. Um, but what I will say that I think is a, a, a narrative that has really crystallized over the past couple weeks um, is that I think it's becoming almost certain uh, that the SEC will never create new regulation for crypto and blockchain, as has been called for. Um, for, Why not? Uh, for 10 years. Uh, they have always argued, except for one or two holdouts, uh, they have uh, almost exclusively argued that the current regulations are fine, mm -hmm. that securities law is securities law is securities law, and it's not a question of trying to create uh, a third category, you know, security, non-security, and crypto, mm -hmm. um, but just figuring out which crypto fits in which of the existing categories. Uh, Gary Gensler, the chair of the SEC, um, is aggressively going after FTX after sitting on his hands for a little while, seemingly getting the lay of the land, um, and has made it very clear that they are ready to act on other um, bad players in a similar way that they are acting on FTX. 
and but, that is without changing the regulation. But caveat emptor is sort of his his like you know if you want to be in this space, don't look to us to well yeah I mean you. they've been they've been saying for years you know if you want to be in this space come to us and ask for permission you know let's do it the right way, um, and then consistently not giving that permission. Um, so it seems it's it's now starting to look very likely that the SEC will never change the regulation, may never give that permission, and is just waiting for the industry to implode.